That looks so good. Beef footage is like this right here. Eat our chickens. Maggots out of the compost. Maggots? A new chicken coop? Can you look at me? <laughs> You're gonna eat one? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> to this one that we have. So we have all these chickens. How many chickens do we have? Like 42. And how many more are we gonna get? 142 more. 142 more chickens. So we need some more coops. But our plan is, is to let our chickens have a compost, wormy diet, no grains. And we want this whole field behind their coop to be their free range area. So there'll be a door here, where that door is, and there'll be a door on the back side, back here, so they can be let out into their free range field. Justin built it to where all the sides come off and pins go down on the side to hold it together. It's really cool. It's a portable, it's a portable pin. Um, my husband and his clever building engineer self. So it'll be a really good, it'll be a really good holding pin to have um, to set up quickly if we need it um, for anything that we need just a holding pin for. Most of the animals that we want to have though are gonna be free range, crop rotation, pasture rotation, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Here's your worms, chickens. Put the post in the ground, put the wire up, put the roof on it, put the board around. Done. Simple. <laughs> okay. That's not simple for everybody. Can we can we talk about what size of the chicken coop are we building? Or are you building? 16 by 10. 16 by 10. By 8 chicken foot tall. Coop. Okay. What kind of wire? Same wire that's right there. 2 by 4 welded wire. 2 by 4 what? Welded wire. Welded wire. It's not to keep the chickens in, it's to keep the critters out. To keep the critters out, okay. All right. What kind of wood are you using? One by six pressure treated lumber from Tractor Supply. One by six. <laughs> What are you serving up tonight for dinner? Maggots. Maggots. Mmm. Yeah, feed the chickens. 
some luscious maggots out of this compost. They really love them. It's easy if you uh, find something hardy in the compost pile that has a bunch of maggots attached to it because it's pretty disgusting as you can see digging around in this is why I'm wearing gloves. If you get another piece, can you hold it up so I can show it? In your compost of maggots, you can use it as a scoop. Maggots are a great source of protein for chickens. It's a better alternative than grain. Do maggots, or does like feeding your chickens worms and natural things that they would find, like if they were wild chickens, does that help with laying? Uh, I don't know the truth to that. You don't know the truth to that? Be something good to look up. All I know is they love it. Well, how much do we know how much protein a chicken needs to lay an egg a day? Gatlin's coming to help. What are you doing, Gatty Gat? Sick. No. And then you just sink in the stuff. So what is the mud looking like stuff? Or the That's more all like... Decom you can put anything into your compost. <laughs> Vegetables, fruit, chicken poop. Anything, and then you can just keep reoccurring food for your chicken. What about like coffee? Coffee grounds, everything. Everything. Don't you don't want to put meat in there, right? No. No, no meat. It's no. Also good fishing bait. And it's great fishing bait too. If you're man enough to dig them out. <laughs> or woman enough. Get your maggots, yummy. <laughs> So what we've done here is we've started our small chicken farm with 10 chickens and then we hatched like 50 eggs and our intent is to have our own little cheap flock of egg laying chickens. In the future we plan to become, to get our chickens off of grain and to just have solely pasture raised chicken with the intent to have meat chickens, um, one for to provide for our family, just the amount of food we consume, <clears throat> it'll help out tremendously, and two, I like to be here at the house with the wife and kids. I like to just be at my own pace and my own nature. I, uh, I have intent to have hogs and cows and go from there, see where it leads us.